Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show. Me, your host, Sean. Uh, again, we're outside, so uh, I apologise for any background noise. However, talking about all time highs. Now, uh, people keep saying all time highs, you know, wait for a pullback. And I understand that concept. I've waited for a pullback before, but you shouldn't be afraid of all time highs. You know why? If you're afraid of full-time highs, you'll, you'll miss out on further gains. Look at Facebook. Look at Google. Look at Amazon. Look at Apple. Look at Tesla. I was afraid of all-time highs with Apple. I didn't go in. And they gained an extra $100 a share. It's the only position I didn't go in. Now, even with Amazon. time I went in, I overpaid because of, my fingers were a bit itchy over it being at all time highs. Facebook, people have asked, why is it going up so much? They've come out with Facebook Teams, which is their version of TikTok. If, now, they will challenge TikTok if Microsoft take it over. If it doesn't, then uh, and TikTok gets uh, and TikTok gets banned, then this will saw on the back of that. Uh, and all the people who were in the US who were going, uh, I'll TikTok you, and they're saying, I'll Facebook team you. Now we go to the next one. I've already spoken about Fastly, uh, but the next one is going to be, I've been asked about my trading style. I'm not a day trader, regardless of what you think. I go to hold shares for a long time, and that way I'm not forced to sell them. However, I also study trading patterns, and if I think there's going to be a breakout, so, I'm not fixed to one style. So, I look at long term holds and I look at day, well, not day trading, but I look at trading patterns. So, that if I think there's going to be a break uh, pattern, I will try and get on that. Now, that is why I have a wide array. And if you'll see from where I uh, mentioned in some of my videos uh, just because I can't uh, just because I can't trade this stock doesn't mean you guys can't so I find out this information while I'm looking for information for myself for shares I can trade find I see spot trading patterns and uh, information about other shares that I can't trade so uh, I think I may as well share it with the community so that you guys can make money i've had people say to me before why don't you wait until you've traded in these stocks before releasing it to the people who are subscribing to you but that's not my style i don't like to do it that way it's a case of the type of person who we should all know at the same time so we all have the same chance Anyway, I'm going to open up two of my accounts without looking at them at all today. They're portfolios I haven't opened up to you that before, and you'll get to see inside them. So, let's see. And don't forget to hit that lovely like button, almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or 
ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. So, we're going to open my stake account first of all. And let's have a look. The thing about stake is it gives you a daily total. Yesterday, I was up this much. Today, I'm down this much. So, um, it's kind of one of my trading accounts trading in US dollars the issue with this is if you do a deposit it's not an instant deposit if you do if you sell anything it doesn't go into your account instantly uh, hold on let me show you. if you invite friends and get free stock which I which I do. Uh, the links in the description below. Thank you to anyone who's gone out, like Marco. I've mainly get GoPro, but for still free stock, still free money. Uh, but I have had a Dropbox, free Dropbox one. And you'll learn. You will see in there. Uh, some people need to fund to get the free shares. They don't realise that you need to fund it. So, but thank you to everyone who has used my links. It does help support the channel. And uh, oh, going in this. Now, you may remember, oh, I'll better put this up here, Ar Arbutus Biopharma Corporation. Now, they are, they are obviously a company, sorry, I'm trying to get the best light, my lights, my bulb's just gone, and, uh, sorry about this, and, it's uh all right here we go now they are by a pharma company they have just won a court case against moderna for their patent now does it make this mean this means they could have gone to the high court taken the paying off them which i think they should have done but when you think about their market cap could have gone to the high court to take the paying off them and they could have lost the whole case now they've won the case it's settled they've got an nda They've got a three hundred million uh, dollar market cap. They've been running at a loss. Now, 
do they uh, risk losing it all by going for everything and even if they do they then have to pay to manufacture now remember it was Moderna who got the government grant not Arbutus so government's not going to give that grant uh, to these guys again instead we've done a clever thing and they get paid a royalty for every drug that Moderna produces and this is going to set them up now to so each one of these I've done a video about I haven't uh, bought these without doing a video about first of all all the source portfolio now believe it or not I've traded each one of these as well so it may show a higher price because I've got in at a lower price I've sold at a higher price then I've bought a slightly lower price so you, it may be showing negative but they aren't Dan Holding Corporation now with this I went in heavy Dana if you remember my video now it shot up so I sold uh, out of it uh, quite a bit and it's come back down so if it comes back down to my 11.40 range I will go back in but to tell the truth even if it went in at 12.40 I would still be making money DHT I've done plenty of videos about DHT now I do think there's going to be a super cycle with the tankers soon the next quarter uh, to the next year THT I've made my money I could sell out now for, because of the dividends I could sell out now and I would be profitable but I'm holding for the next year or two it's my hedge against my uh, all stocks you know that Euronav this is the thing I've sold out of a lot of my Euronav just because I know the fourth quarter, third and fourth quarter are going to be bad and it kind of hit my uh, my profit price and then I have 15 shares left I put 12 up on a limit sale if it hits a certain price but it doesn't look like it's going to do that and if they go if they hit a certain price I will I will go back in to that sorry I will go back in buy back in but see fortuna silver mines this is another one i've been trading now it's 20 cents below what i've paid but i bought in heavily it shot up you can see where it was there uh let me show you you know you saw how it shot up it was over seven dollars i sold out and bought into a couple of other precious metals now the dollar rose today precious metal had a pullback so i may i'm waiting for it to pull back a bit more and then i'll go back in gilead I've got Gilead in this one. I've got Gilead in my ISA and invest. I don't have a massive position because I was kind of moving money around. GoPro, that's the free GoPro. 
No, it was six dollars earlier in the month. It's saying five forty five. That's at the price that Marco that I got it from when Marco uh used my link and funded his account. And you might want to check his video out where he's reviewing steak. Mm -hmm. He he puts out some good content. Huami Corp. Now this is one that deals with smart wearable technology. I have done a video on this. I think this I think uh, I think people don't understand the growth that this could provide. IVR, they just paid me a dividend, so they're going to go down. Lending Core, I've done a video on this. Now I'm in profit already. It's only 15 shares. It's nothing. Why is it only 15 shares? Because it went up and I sold some shares to move into another company while I was waiting for my deposit to go in. And you'll see the company I'm talking about. Now, I sold out a stake. I've sold out Gladstone. Gladstone, they wasn't earning their money. I was getting monthly dividend years, but I don't think they were good enough for me. Uh, real income, you'll see I've sold out of a lot of them. Why? Well, I got in the real income around 50 mark. I sold out, got back in at 59 mark. It's 63 at the moment. I still have three shares, but the reason for my stake account is I have my trading 212 account, which is my ISA account. I have my trading 212 invest account. Uh, I like the way it's set up and all the information. What I don't like about it is the way they've acted with the specs and the warrants of the units and the way they're just selling them without informing people. So I have my free trade account for uh, shares that aren't on trading 212 and for the American companies that aren't on trading 212 I have this one. It has more US stocks than any app outside the US. This is also available in Australia. Now, Upwork. Now, I have sold some of this. It hit $15. I sold a uh, dollar a share profit. I've got six shares left. Now, you got to remember that it's not just a dollar a share because I was in back here. <laughs> I sold out up here. It came down and I bought back in. Now, if it drops again, I will go in. This is one that I that did a video about recently. Well, no. Look at how it's gone up. It's gone up post fourteen dollars. Now past fourteen dollars. And I thought people were realizing what's happening. Maybe it's just people who have seen my video and they've gone on to other people. But this company holds 0.4% of Palantir. It funded Palantir when it's private and it holds 0.4% of its shares. Now, 
It's a way to gain with pre-IPO. So, also owns another $170 million worth of other shares. Look at the market cap, $228 million. So we take the $178 million worth of other shares. And no wonder it received a buy from analysts. It's before the drop. Now, you have, so basically it's valuing 0.4% of Palantir, 50 million. I mean, really, it should be valued uh, between 200 and 300 million. Now, once it IPOs, imagine what that's going to do to this camp, this market cap, as people realise. Now, I have money. This is my money. It's unsettled from sales. I'm going to Check that in there, there. SSSS. Yeah. SS, SS. All of it. And leave it there. Now, Upwork, I don't know if you caught it, but Jeremy did a video on it this morning saying anything under $15 is a buy. I did a video on this and Fiverr when Upwork was $8 before Fiverr did its run up. And once Fiverr did its run up, I then moved to Upwork. Now, to answer the question, what kind of trader I am, I'm not any particular kind of trader. I am not a dividend chaser. I buy and hold for the long term some shares. I will sell if they reach my price point. I'm not one of these who, oh, they'll just stay there forever. But I'm willing to keep them there forever. I am the type who is happy to collect the dividends I am the type who will invest in growth stocks you've seen my videos on SPACs uh, if there's a I'm not the type who I'm the type if it goes up depending on the company I won't necessarily sell sometimes I will but with the SPACs or the riskier stocks, if it goes up enough, I will pull my initial investment out and leave and play with the house money. And then move that money, because that is my speculative money, move it to another stock. And that's how I grow my portfolio. Now, I have percentage set aside for speculation stocks. I have a percentage set aside for dividends. I have a percentage set aside for growth. And believe it or not, I have a percentage set aside for a mixture that are growth dividend. And that uh, are uh, what I call spec dividend because you've got a couple, one or two, and I hope that answers your question. And with stake, as I said, you don't need to have one portfolio. 
you might want to check out free trade stake trading 212 in order to get the sign up bonuses and then just you have your ISA or your tax free portfolio and then you put hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or pounds in another account and you hold that say for your growth stock problem with me is I've used up all my ISA allowance now and I uh, with my dividends I have so much dividends and in that now I've had to create a spreadsheet and I now have to pay tax on some of my dividends since the realty so now I'm going to transfer another reason I'm selling this transfer realty from here to my tax free account it's like with this IVR I've been downgrading this IVR into my tax efficient but you've also got to think to yourself is there any point in downgrading uh, moving something that only gives pennies into something that where you can get like an eight percent account where you can get eight percent tax free so you have to think that way as well would you rather pay tax on like a a one percent or an eight percent the tanker stocks pay me a dividend but this is the only platform that holds the HD in your own F. Anyway, don't forget to comment in the box below. And I'll see you in the next video. I hope this answers your question. If not, uh, maybe I didn't understand it properly. Uh, please elaborate a bit more. After all, I'm just a public school boy. You know, a bit of an idiot on the internet. I'll see you then.